This is Dan, and this is the Napkin Academy, and this lesson is process step number four in the visual thinking process. We've learned how to look, we've learned how to see, we've learned how to imagine, and now we are going to learn how to show. And as we go through this next series of lessons, we're going to focus in particular on a new tool called the Codex. So showing. What is showing really all about? Well, it's where we take our idea, maybe it's our problem, or maybe, hopefully, it's our solution, and we figure out a way to show it to somebody else, and also, of course, to ourselves. Now, what I mean by that is, we may have started out with a really nasty problem, something that was very difficult to take apart and see well, or we may have started out with an idea. And what we've done is go through a number of different ways to really look at that idea or that problem and come up with ways to make it particularly clear or particularly compelling so that in our own mind and certainly in the mind of anyone that we want to show it to it becomes equally clear, equally compelling. Now there are really four ways that we're going to talk about showing. So let's go ahead and just divide this up into four different quadrants. What we're going to do is initially we're going to talk about simply how to go about doing the show process. That's number one. Number two is I'm then going to introduce you to this new tool called the Codex, which is a kind of a matrix that puts together tools that we've already seen up to this point. Then in the next session, we're going to do something that I call the visual MBA, which is going to be a pretty sophisticated example that's going to pull together just about everything that we've learned throughout this entire course and put it into one final little package that we're going to tie up with a bow. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how to take everything that we've done up to this point and go ahead and make a show so that we can very clearly, very compellingly, go ahead and do show and tell, taking our idea and making sure that as clear as it's become to us, it's equally clear to anyone else that we want to be able to show it to. So let's start out now with literally how to show. We're going to find that there are three steps. The first step is what I call choosing a framework. Now what do I mean by that? Well, we've already started the whole process with the idea again that we had a problem, or we had an idea, or we had a particular need to simply be clear. Well, what we've done so far throughout all of our exercises is I've introduced to you two different frameworks. The first framework, of course, was the one we called the 6x6, six six, and the second framework was the one we called the squid. Now, there is a difference between these two frameworks. We've touched on it before, but I want to spend a moment really focusing in on what makes these things not the same so that we can get a clear idea of which framework we would choose to help us most effectively clarify our problem or idea. So let's think first about the 6x6. Six six. Now what it did, let's do a super quick review. Who and what, how much, where, when, how, and why. By going through those six questions, what we're able to do is take our problem and drill deep down into it and be able to deconstruct it into six elemental components that allow us to be able to understand it much more clearly and much more deeply. The second tool, then, the second framework, the squid, is the one that allowed us to view our idea very, very broadly and say, well, if I start with this, can I end up with a whole bunch of different possibilities? Now there's another way to think about when we would choose one of these frameworks over the other. If we've got a big problem coming into us and we want to slow it down, the framework that we use is the 6x6. Six six. What I mean by that is if this thing, remember, remember our famous little deer in the headlights? I think my favorite little drawing ever was my very ugly little deer a little deer in the headlights. We want to slow down problems so they don't run over us. The way we do that is we say, hey problem, stop. I'm going to look at who and what. I'm going to look at how much 
etc. all the way down. I'm going to slow that problem down so I can learn to see it. That's when we use the 6x6. Six six. We use the squid not so much to slow a problem down, but to be able to really think about what are all of the possibilities. I want to think big now. Possibilities. I want to think big. I want to think broadly. What are all of the ways I could really stretch my idea to be able to make sure that I'm looking at it as completely as I possibly can? That's when I would choose the squid framework. Step number two then is to go ahead and use that framework. And what I mean by that is start drawing. If you haven't been drawing already, now is the time to start. And we've got the perfect framework to do it. If you had chosen the 6x6, six six, you start drawing. Draw a who and a what portrait. Does that help you clarify who's involved? Draw a chart. Does that help clarify how much is involved? If you're curious about how does the thing work, draw a flow chart. Does that help clarify the process that's going on? If you're curious about why does this thing happen this way at all, draw our multivariable plot clarify why it happens the way it does. Get it out of our mind's eye and down onto a piece of paper where we can say, well, it really is these who's and it really is this where and it really is this how much. Draw it. Use that framework. And if we had chosen to use the squid, we do the same thing. We start drawing. We start with our simple view and then we make our elaborate view and we start with our qualitative view and then we move into our quantitative view, etc. We go ahead and we use that framework to generate our drawings. And then finally, step three of course is going to be using the resulting picture or pictures, whatever we came up with, whatever it was, to go ahead and show to somebody else and tell. So let's review this first lesson on show with just a couple of key takeaways. Item number one, how do we show? Well the first thing we have to do is we have to choose the right framework. Was that the 6x6? Six six? Was that the squid? Or was it some combination that allowed us to look at them together and then the second one is we had to use that framework to then begin to actually draw the pictures so that we can see them and so that our audience is going to be able to see them too.